Hey crazy friends. Hey guys. It's Jay and Francis with Find You Crazy. We are a family of nine who travel full time in an RV with five of our kids as we go around the country to see every national park. But this week we are super, super excited. After an entire year on the road full timing, this week we are going to get to do something that we have wanted to do from before we started RVing. Yes. And that is attend a full time rally. families rally. Rally. A full week of hanging out with other full time families that are part of the full time families organization. It is going to be amazing. We are looking forward to it big time. So if you're not familiar, the organization Full-Time Families is made up of families that full-time RV. Full-time families, great yeah. name, right? Uh, and throughout the year, they have lots of different meetups, and specifically, they have a couple of rallies, and rallies are the big event. And so it is a full week, jam-packed, and I mean jam-packed, full of opportunities for us to get together with other families, but also um, to just share information so mm -hmm. they have lots of seminars where they have some people coming in that are like experts in rv maintenance and they're going to lead some things or um, then they have coffee talks where we're going to gather up and talk about connectivity and working on the road uh, and then they have all these bonfires every night where you can get together with different groups uh, whether you're traveling believers or traveling businesses um, just lots and lots of great opportunities, um, organized and unorganized, to get together and hang out with adults. So lots of great stuff for adults. But there's also a ton for kids, obviously. So this specializes in RVers who aren't retired, but those who have children and families. And so they have so many things planned for the kids that we are super excited about being a part of. Um, one of which is the Child's Mar Kids Marketplace. So kids get to kind of flex those entrepreneurial muscles and try to figure out a way to do something creative to make money and the parents yeah. and all the other kids they shop around it's gonna be really Super really fun. fun we've never done it before but we it's, hear it everybody's is the highlight for the kids the highlight for the kids they plan even before they come to the rally so we're excited to see what we're gonna make yep. uh, we don't really know yet and then also there are activities for the kids there mm -hmm. everything is outdoors from games to family activities where they gather you together to and do something homemade fun. ice cream one day yeah. we're doing yard games one day just there's just Super a fun lot stuff. of fun things and the point is for us to do it together as mm -hmm. families right. so Though there are some things for adults, there's some mom's night out, yay, and some dad's night out. Yeah. <laughs> so there are those, but also there is most of the day is filled with being together as a family yep. and connecting with other people who have children your own age. We've already been online kind of connecting ahead mm -hmm. of time, so they do that really well. They set up a rally site, so we have lots of information. So we kind of already know some of the families that we're going to get to know virtually, and we know that lots of them have children um, our, our kids' age. So we're really looking forward to kind of meeting face-to-face -face after a year of virtual it's exciting to kind of get face to face with some other families so let's go and get this thing started Yay!
So we are halfway through um, this rally week, uh, and we are tired. Um, <laughs> yes. It is a good tired. Um, it is packed full of really, really good stuff. So when you set off um, to full-time RV, there is a abundance of different memberships and groups and things that you can pay to be a part of. Um, and some of them are worth it to some people and some of them are not worth it to other people. Um, and you really have to kind of examine and decide, okay, which ones are we gonna spend our money on? Cause I mean, you just can't, or at least we can't, just pay for everything. Um, but there was one that from the very beginning, we knew for sure that we were gonna do. Um, going into our research, uh, into launching out full-time, uh, we found out about Full-Time Families, uh, which is a group uh, organization that brings together families that full-time, obviously. Um, and they have a Facebook group that's um, free. You can go in and kind of see their general Facebook group, but to get into all of their different branches, and they have a ton of different branches, mm -hmm. um, you have to pay to be a part of it and then the biggest thing is when you pay you get access to their annual rallies um, and we had heard so much about that and even gleaned some good information from the free side of it before mm -hmm. we launched and then within the first um, month of us launching we ran across some other families that full-timed and their first advice was you got to be a part of full-time families and you've got to do a rally and Unfortunately, last year with COVID, they had to cancel all of them. So we've been a full year um, before we could do one. But when the first one came up, we jumped on it. And it has been amazing. Yes. And, you know, we were traveling out west in some private parks. And um, we were running really fast, really ragged. Um, we were running from wildfires. We were trying to make up for lost time that we had lost during COVID. And so um, when we rushed and ran through, we really had kind of just a desert of relationships. Yep. Like we were moving quickly through parks. We were seeing things all day long. And so as we finished up the first five months of travel, we were lonely. Yeah. Just really honestly, that was a struggle for us yeah. from our introverts to our extroverts. Mm -hmm. We all were missing um, those connections and yeah. relationships and being out of a church family, like we were so used to that. And mm -hmm. so I would highly encourage you to find a place where you can make relationships, but not just virtually, but in person. person and these yeah. rallies have helped our kids and us to yeah. make connections with full-time families from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. from different experiences levels. We are learning so much yeah. from the coffee talks to the classes, to the sessions, to all the fun and games and um, our kids, we haven't seen them much, oh which is okay because we see them every day, all day. Yeah. And so we can give a little bit of time for them to just make new friends. And I will tell you, we've all been incredibly impressed with the way that they have kept things um, safe for families yeah. um, as we just launch back out into COVID uh, friendly um, activities, but also to really engage us together um, as a family of full-time yeah. RVers. And this is something that we didn't even know we were missing until we got here and we saw, wow, this is a piece of the puzzle. Because when we launch back out, we will have those connections on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, and just through Messenger to be able to say, hey, we're heading up the West Coast. Anybody there? Yeah. And we hopefully can make those relationships continue even after we leave the rally. Yeah, there's been so much great information in the structure yes. aspects of the week so far, um, in the coffee talks and things they've done. Like we've learned a lot of information and also just gotten confirmation um, as you sit in a group and go, okay, that's what we were doing and that was the right thing to do. But the biggest benefit so far uh, has been that social aspect of us being able to meet other families that have kids our own age, um, our adults that are our age. Um, and really the rally has been um, kind of a, a linchpin even before we got to the rally. Like we started meeting full-time families and found out they were going to the rally. And all of a sudden there's, <laughs> right. these, there's this bond that just happens and we're already seeing that past the rally, it's like, okay, this is my route. We're gonna try to re meet back up in Texas. We're gonna, when we come across you in Minnesota, we're definitely gonna stop. Um, Yes. It's just a, a an aspect um, within the nature of full-timing RVing, you get to cocoon with your family, and that's a really, really good thing. But that's to the exclusion of some of the ongoing relationships. You have to sacrifice yes. those. This is meeting that need for us, right. um, and we are absolutely loving it. So we're going to get back to the rally because there's a lot to do. <laughs>
All right, Scott, so what do we just get finished doing? We're doing the kids' market. And did you sell anything? Um, I'm just kidding. I sold all of my slimes and I got $33. You made slime yourself and then you sold it and you made how all much money? $33. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Did you spend some of your money on some other fun stuff? Yes, sir. Sweet. So Christopher, what are your thoughts on the rally so far? I like it, it's fun. What's your favorite thing so far about the rally? Seeing all the friends. Okay, so what about you? What's your favorite thing about the rally? Making friends. Making friends. What about you, Dad? What's your favorite thing? Making friends, that's pretty funny. <laughs> what about you, Sky? I like doing all the activities, all making right. friends. What's your favorite activity? What have you? What's something that you really enjoyed? Uh, making ice cream. Making ice crazy. cream. How'd you make it? What'd you do? So you put, you got like a plastic bag, and you like put all, all the ingredients up, and then you get a bigger bag with like salt, ice, and then regular ice, and then you shake it up. Oh, so you made it all your all yourself, right? Homemade. Cool. Hey, Ruthie. What have you liked the rally? You like playing here? Yes. Ma yeah. What about you, Rosie? Do you like the rally? <laughs> playing with Play Doh. Yeah, they had Play Doh Day today. Super fun. And now we have a pizza night on the ground. All right guys, so you can see um, from the video so far, we have had an amazing week here um, at our first time um, full-time families rally. Uh, it has been everything that we expected and more. It's actually my privilege um, to be able to introduce you to Nicole and Dustin, uh, who are now the owners of full-time families. Um, so everything we've experienced this week is their fault. Um, so how long, uh, you guys were members before uh, you bought the uh, organization, right? So how long have you been members of full-time families? Uh, we originally joined in the spring, early part of the year 2018. Uh, attended our first rally was the robotics rally in uh, Michigan, which actually was uh, Jill and Dustin's first um, individual rally, I think, that they did. Um, and became lifetime members at that rally. Nice. And then when did you purchase uh, the organization? Um, we ended up uh, finding out that they were looking for partnership when we were up in Alaska on a rally there in 2019. So we partnered with the Dinkins then, um, and we partnered with them because of um, we have our business that makes all of our money, but we don't exactly love. Um, this is something that we love to do, so it kind of levels us out a little bit. So it's our passion business. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And so obviously you guys bought it right before COVID kind of shut everything down and so there weren't able to be any rallies last year and so this is our first time rally to participate but this is y'all's first rally to lead. Uh, I can tell you from our perspective um, it's been amazing but how do you guys feel like the first rally, your first rally um, to be completely in charge went? I think it went really well. Um, we had purchased new hand solars in April of last year okay. so um, right after all of the rallies got canceled for the rest of the year. So oh. um, we didn't know how that was going to go, but um, we were really excited to start with this one. And I think that it's really been, um, we've had amazing feedback. All the families were just so excited to be together, um, to build that community and just see the kids running around and just having a good time. So um, yeah, we feel like it's been a really good experience that all the families have really been, um, just really embraced the experience and put themselves out there. And um, there's a lot of friendships made. And, 
um, the community is definitely strong. Yeah, community, uh, like that's one thing um, that Full Time Families has really given to us is not just the online community. I mean, like even before we stepped foot onto this rally, we had gotten so much just from the online forums um, of being able to throw a question out there and get feedback from lots of different people. So there's a lot of great virtual community, but to be able to turn that virtual community into real community here this week has been amazing. Um, and even though the rally is almost over and we're about to leave, we're already like connecting with tons of families about when we're going to meet up again informally. So it really community is for us has been one of the key things um, in there. So now that you've got um, this first rally under your belt, so to speak, what do you guys see for uh, the future? Where, where's full-time families headed? Uh, in the future? Well, for, for me, it's uh, like this was the first time we did the extra innings, the mm -hmm. sports camp. And uh, we really enjoyed that. I, I felt like that added a lot of value, yeah. especially for the kids. So, I mean, I think a lot of things are going to be uh, we're going to try things like that. Um, some of them may stick and we'll probably have more sports camps down the road because that went really, really well. But we might end up trying some things that don't work so right, well. Right. So um, hopefully we don't know what those are yet. But So I think we just want to kind of keep growing the community and um, doing what fits best inside the community. Yeah, just keep offering uh, more events. We found that, um, while you're talking about that, the online community is good um, and you can make connections there. Um, being in person with people at events is really, um, really kind of cements that in. Yeah. And so um, our hope would be to have like a family reunion every year in the spring on both sides um, of the country and then hangouts throughout the year. Um, Balloon Fiesta will always be our big event in the fall and so we're really excited about that. So um, just continuing to offer resources online and ways to connect and then also um, offer events for nice. everyone to attend. I can tell you one of the things that we've enjoyed this week is not just meeting everybody else, but getting to hang out with Nicole and Dustin as well. And one of the beautiful things that we see uh, for the future of full-time families is it's in the hands of somebody that is a full-time family. I think it's awesome that they were members first um, and really have a heart. They've been on the road as a full-time family. So it's not like some outsider that's just trying to do this as a business. I mean, it's somebody that loves it and understands the struggles that we have. Um, and so they're looking at adding things that do really matter to full-time families because they are a full-time family. Um, so here to wrap up, um, sales pitch. Um, somebody's looking to go full-time, why should they join full-time families? I think it's full of resources, especially if you're brand new and you're trying to learn like what rig to buy and uh, where do I go, what memberships do I need, like all of those things. Our community is great at answering that. Um, we all went through it. so. Uh, I would say it's a very tight-knit community, so I would say the number one reason why you're, you're getting on the road fresh would be the resources, our blog and our community on the Facebook pages. So that, that to me, would probably be the biggest selling Yeah, feature. also you have community, so you can have online community, or you can have in-person community. Um, people find each other online and, like you're saying, like meet up in different campgrounds or oh. different spots um, outside of national parks. and so. Um, if your family is a social family um, or just worried about being alone at all through this journey, like you can be um, as busy or as alone as you want to be. So, um, like we haven't been alone, and I don't, I don't think all of 2021 wow. so far. Like we've been with other families the entire time. So, um, if you're looking for community, like this is the place to go. Uh, for sure, and I would piggyback on what Dustin said. If you're thinking about going full time, don't wait to join full time families. Um, we made that mistake. We kind of were like pacing ourselves on when we were going to get memberships and buy into things because we were. Our thought process was the later we wait, the longer it'll last when we're doing it, right? And that made sense on some of the things like our camping memberships. But I tell you, we joined full time families about two months before we launched. I wish we had done it a full year uh, ahead of time because just being able to see, especially those Facebook feeds of things coming through and as questions came up, like I, I just totally wish I had had that community to just pop on and say, um, my battery's gone dead and I'm looking at getting another one. I don't know what to get. And boom, because I see it all the time now, people that pop on and say, hey, we're going to go launch in three months. We don't even have a rig yet, but we've got two kids. What's the best rig? Um, so I would say it's not just a resource for when you're going, but the earlier, as soon as you know you're going full time, it's a great resource. And honestly, even if you're not going full time, even if you're going for a short trip, three months, or you're just looking to weekend warrior, the resources are still um, amazing uh, within all the groups that are in there. So it's, it's an awesome thing. So if you're interested in joining, you can look um, in the description box and we will have a link there um, for how you can click uh, and get connected with full-time families.